Peace all, Varikama I here of Varikama Mystics and um, yes, our weekly segment has not resumed on the Friday as yet on the Venus way and the Friday as yet, it will be doing so soon enough, okay, and my apologies and also this week we're doing a all signs, what's up with I divine love, because um, I tried to do the recordings for the other signs earlier and it just wasn't working, I've been, I tried to stretch it out and stuff but um, yeah, the last two days it's it's just not working so i'm gonna do this week as is and we'll see how it flows thereafter okay let's see what your divine partner is feeling thinking and moving like in for because of this connection okay and beforehand we're actually going to get a message for you the one watching get my cards together i just did a recording so just got some time this a.m. So I'm gonna get it before the children get up. Thanks. Oh, some soul wants to come out. Okay, you know this. Um, the segment is either for your twin soul or your twin flame. Okay, it's my little parrot drawing. Um, paint that I did. Um, I don't know if it's a parrot. It's a bird. It's a tropical bird. You know. Anyways, yeah, so we have here Twin Soul, and Twin Soul is your life partner, okay, this is your, this is your ride or die, the one that really shows you unconditional love in this paradigm, okay, yes, it is the life partner that you will need to experience what you need in this, in this lifetime, in this time. No doubt or fear, just love. Okay, anything else? That's all I know. Soul group. Anything else? Remember, ye are gods. Yes, okay, interesting stuff. Symbolic wisdom. Um, so maybe you, the one watching, have been getting some, I've been seeing symbols everywhere, okay, uh, yeah, that connect you to this connection, and also, um, signs and synchronicities are rife right now, okay, within your soul group, okay, also, realizing soul group members just realizing the connection that you have with others that it's just not it's like it's one of those phenomena that people might think of but really it's very natural because when we get to know the the truth of the matter is that we are all connected we are all one we just come in different phases and stages and our ideologies perspectives are born through our experiences and our specific life path you know our destiny our fated events is what shapes us and with our differences and we are to experience life just loving living loving loving living learning and enjoying being present right yes not being too strict about anything just flow is good bad or indifferent we are here to grow the soul and the, the soul is good bad and indifferent okay just live But with your experiences, your feelings, with your certain makeup, you're going to experience things differently, the same things differently. And we have soul group members who experience things similarly. It's like our peers on a soul level. Okay. And you, the one watching, are bringing the. Con through this connection somehow well yes it makes sense because when you come to a twin soul a, a twin flame level like you are um you are key players in the, in the evolution game okay so you will be like you will stand out in your group and i'm getting that in the in your group you are helping the group the soul group that you're involved with right now to remember that you are gods and that is a 
beautiful thing. And you're being reminded not to doubt or fear, just to love. Don't let the mundane, the everyday, the just the physical aspects of things get to you. I e. when it comes to dealing with your soul group members, don't worry about something no crazy or wacky in the soul level. They know what you're talking about, even if it seems like they don't. And sometimes they're there to challenge you just because you're supposed to grow out of that feeling of doubt or fear. And just to know, love. Remember your twin soul. If you're at twin soul level, you're here to experience unconditional love no matter what. And remember sometimes that means loving from afar. Because you know, to, um, unconditional love always starts with self first. So yes, you should love everything and everybody, but if you if someone's directly sending you bullshit all the time, you can love them also from afar. You don't have to deal with it. Alright. Okay, that was the message for you, the one watching. Let's see what is out of your divine power. Okay. Feeling the Queen of Cups. Oh, and the Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay. Your divine love. Uh, Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups is how they're feeling right now. This is these ones are just popping out. Wow. Ooh, the Ten of Cups. Ah! <laughs> and the Nine of Cups. Wow. This is a lot of... These are, these are all cups. These are four cards on just the feelings of emotional bliss like the the wish fulfillment card has come out the complete bliss wish fulfillment okay new offer of love feeling and thinking and just wanting to be about love and actually concreting and, and coming into the emotional bliss physically of love <laughs> these are the feelings that's going on within your twin can yeah it's a twin flame or twin soul connection your partner is feeling like all this love for you right now a lot of love a lot of love about yeah just realizing that they have found the one okay and thinking about how this is all gonna play out with family you know realizing yes this, this is a gift and there's an abundance of love, wanting to nurture, wanting to care, wanting to come in, hold, love. Okay, cards are flying out. So what they're thinking about, the ace, oh, sorry, the ace, you know, the three of swords and the six. Of swords, anything else? And the five of wands. We might as well get pause, all right? <laughs> okay. Ah, and the king of cups. Oh, they're thinking about um how the heartbreak that they experienced before made them want to walk away from the connection and they are thinking about also the conflict that they caused within the connection even though they really just wanted to love and accept love and be love and show love receive love okay so the inner thoughts in the feelings, yes. Okay, working their mental and emotional, yes. And this is seeming quite balanced, to be honest. So we're moving it forward to there was this connection. Okay, wow. This is um the six of pentacles. Let's go. Okay, that's that, that's um wanting to physically get balanced. Like materialized balance, all oh, and the lovers, okay, realizing that they don't need all the frifraff. 
they're moving towards this connection they're thinking about moving towards this connection there's <laughs> a bunch of cards again with the higher offense we have here like I'm going to make this official traditional really they you know they're consulting they're consoling their you know their guides and others and they're feeling like they're about done with all the options it seems and they don't want to have to look <laughs> anymore <laughs> they found the one they're no longer holding back okay done the fighting and ruminating over what was lost this one here is ready to and usually he's there not looking back there and looking over what's already spilled we not realizing that there's two upright like still be saving unless he turns around and flips because he's not watching the other two cups but in this case he's he's about ready to turn around and he's not and i just saw him turn around not just not his feet first his head first so he sees he sees now you know what's really good the upright cups yes no more stalemates or no making or indecisions yeah the blindfolds coming off they're realizing the truth of the matter beautiful so for this week your divine love is is definitely feeling this connection is thinking about this connection is making movement forward towards this connection is getting grounded and balanced and wanting to make serious commitments for this connection okay they're they're really growing into themselves really that's what's going on here i see because they're not even with the message for you as well it reflects because you're all our reflections you're connected so much that you influence each other in your own spheres as well as within the connection so yeah, just keep remembering your presence, you know, who you are. Be aware of self as you move, you know, and don't critique yourself too bad, but definitely take note always, like, don't make yourself feel in a way if you don't get things, right, on the nose every time. Like, we're all here still growing, learning, you know, as long as we are learning from the experiences we're in capricorn season right now yay like we really can materialize our intentions our goals as long as we work smart and not hard at it by realizing our spirit nature being aware of the intangible stuff and then helping materialize manipulate that transmute transform alchemize that shit into how we want it in reality full joy y'all please oh i'll very much appreciate you all <laughs> liking commenting and subscribing so we can get the message around to more people and um yeah i give thanks for that peace